Alright guys, we're back for episode six of the Real Hoss Podcast. Real, 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 With your host, Vinny. I just smoked a lace blunt. Xavier. And Thomas. I'm Thomas. I'm Thomas. I'm Xavier. I'm Thomas. So welcome back, fellas. We're back yet again. Episode six. Back again. Feels like. Doing our thing. Feels like, feels like home. I'm comfortable. I'm loving it. It's nice and chilly in here today. Yeah. Yeah. Forecast like forecast is rainy outside. I thought it was gonna be nice out. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh Oh, just for all of our Check the time. We're not even fucking two minutes in, pal. For for all of our Spotify listeners, Thomas almost just ruined everything. (laughs) (laughs) He almost put us out of business with a Keel Farm (laughs) seltzer. As I like to do. As I like to do. As you like to do. Well, all right, guys. So How's how's your week been? Horrible. What have you guys been up to? Horrible. Absolutely terrible. How so? I'm plagued by unrelenting torment and hell. Me too. Fuck yeah, man. Get better. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Me too. I've been... uh touching old dusty stuff for a week and i think i have like a lung Pause. infection <laughs> it's, pretty sick. it's pretty awful what are you like coughing do you have like sore throat or what no nah, no nah, my chest has been hurting like if you're crazy. sick and you I get me that. sick i'm going I'm to colorado tr- next week i'll kill you i'm truly not sick i promise no, i'm sure it's just like environmental no no i dead ass been like i walk into the room that i work in it's like i've just been dealing with hella dusty shit and yeah. like old like antique type stuff do you have allergies i yeah, oh yeah. yeah and i feel like i've Same. been i feel like i've been breathing in black mold or something it's fucking sick that's cool i love my job it's so awesome that's i love being self-employed i also love being self-employed it works out <laughs> yeah. super great yeah, all the time. it's so it's great not an unbearable uh burden on my psyche sometimes <laughs> yeah i also love being self-employed <laughs> facts it's yeah. so fun. Yeah. Uh, can you make sure that that got- Levo thing isn't in the frame? You just push that a little bit. Okay. Are you sure? Because we can't see the bottom. It ain't in the frame. Bro. I ain't in the All frame. All right, guys. Spotify listeners, you're being alienated again. Don't. We're trying to fix something real quick. Just, just lean over and back <laughs> it's it up. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Back it up. Cool. Yeah, we got it. Uh-huh. All right, guys. Crisis avoided. <laughs> I'm back. That's so, me being crazy. So if you guys want to hear about my wacky, crazy, many week, yeah, I was. <laughs> okay, so Oh my god, what? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to get back into another poop story. I don't no! want to t- <laughs> I don't want to turn it into Where's that, the, man. Is this is this arm? Yeah. It is. <laughs> Poop story. It's Time for the poop scoop. It's been a couple weeks. Your weekly poop scoop. We're back to the poop scoop. <laughs> Real horse poop scoop. Nah. So I'm not doing. Real horse poop scoop. <laughs> <laughs> we need a new intro. Copyright pending. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm not gonna have another poop story for another couple weeks at least, guys. But oh, this really? was one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me. Uh, beyond shitting my pants at the ripe age of 27. <clears throat> okay. So I was going to the bathroom. Normal, everything was good, and I get up to you know get ready to leave. As soon as I flush, I go to grab my phone. I flush the toilet, and then I cartoon fucking and it fucking fell into the toilet as it's flushing in a mound of shit and piss. See, you know that's the phone. And I had to, I had to reach in and grab it because I thought it was gonna go in the pipe. So I like. After you reminded me about that, like you like talked about it, I'm like, I'm yeah. sitting down when I flush for I don't care if the water hits my balls. I'm yeah. Down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if the water hits care. my balls. The water hitting my balls feels kind of nice. <laughs> it's a refresher. Yeah. But so, yeah, that was probably like the worst uh, bathroom mishap that's ever happened to me. We're, we're, four, to this we're day. demonetized four minutes in, man. Let's yeah. Go. I mean, we, I didn't say, I didn't say anything crazy. I said just said poop. I took a poop. I poop. <laughs> Dude, there's literally YouTube Pooping channels called YouTube natural. Poop. You think they're not making money? Hell no. No, they're not making money. YouTube Poop channels? Are <laughs> you crazy? YouTube Poop channels are uh, borderline uh, 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 racist a lot gonna, of the time. I, I they're very gonna, bad. I was going to oh, say, really? it's pretty tough to watch YouTube Poop before 2010 that doesn't start the first 30 seconds has a slur. Yeah. Like it's, it's I guess that's bad. fair, yeah. yeah. I haven't watched YouTube Poop probably since like 8th grade. Yeah. Unless someone like just you sends know, like a clip it, or something. It really is a crazy genre of content. I, I, it's horrible. Like, I feel like the humor is usually pretty bad, but I think the work and effort that goes into it could be really used to, to improve humanity. And could be used is, for something instead good. Instead is used to create SpongeBob, like, killing 
somebody or something. I mean, I'm down for that. As long as, as long as SpongeBob isn't racist and killing, like I'm cool <laughs> with it. I mean, I, could we just solve world hunger instead? I think I think that like one of my th- this makes me feel like I have like I enter psychosis is like sitting on a couch with people I know, yeah, and then watching YouTube videos for four hours. Like it drives me. It sends me up a wall sometimes. Sometimes, you know, if you're really into it, you guys are talking about something good. It's whatever. Yeah, like the Real Haas cool. podcast. It's like watching yeah. the Real Haas podcast. It's on the just couch like the watching Real Haas. That's the only That's time only it's fun. That's the only acceptable way but, to do yeah. it. But, but when I'm sitting there and we're just watching like YouTube, like YouTube meme videos, like my friends are like, oh, look at how obscure this meme is that I, I saw. <laughs> like, psychosis. I have a friend, Induced psychosis. I have a friend, my, my good buddy James McHenry back in uh, Illinois. Shout out he, showed, he showed me videos. He showed me a virtual funeral video that was like done on IM view for this kid's grandma. And it had 57 views. And I was like, how did you find this, bro? Like, like, how do you find that? I love, I, I used to have, uh, when I was younger, I used to have like a playlist of like Fucked really esoteric, like, Haunted like, like, like deep. I'm talking like just clicking on random videos for an hour till I find something with 20 views. <laughs> like no I'm a big, I'm a big fan of that genre of YouTube video. It's haunting. Yeah, I'm just still like, watching like, Charlie the Unicorn. <laughs> like, 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 like a nine-year-old kid making like videos with action figures and like editing it on their iPhone, on their little, uh, on their little iPads. Mm-hmm. Shit like that just drives me. N- Kids should not it, be on YouTube. I agree. What well, were you guys like? Yeah, I agree. It, th- this is kind of what. What could you remember to be like the first? Maybe not the first video you ever saw on YouTube, but like the first kind of video that you would look up on YouTube. Oh, I, I, I explicitly remember this. So. I used to use, I don't know if y'all remember, Game FAQs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, yeah, dude. I was, I was a, on that every I was, a, day. I was a huge Game FAQs user. I was playing Kingdom Hearts 2, and I was somehow, I somehow didn't have enough time as a five year old to 100% Kingdom Hearts 2. Mm-hmm. It's because so, you're a loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I decided, I was like, mm, I'm just going to look up the secret end. I'm like, I was like, is there a way to like see it? And I was like looking at the guide, and there was like a. Pause, pause, pause. Have you beaten it now? Can you yeah, of course. Okay, no, I know 100 percenting Thank God. 100 percenting any game is like really tedious. But yeah. I saw like a link. Especially King. There was Hearts. a link, and I was like, watch the ending. I'm like, what do you mean watch the You can't ending? do that yeah, on I'm the on, on my, I'm cheating. I can't do that. On my dial-up internet, and I click I I clicked that link and it did irreparable damage to my to my brain <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> to have to have entertainment on demand like that was quite literally the most devastating thing that could have and happened. Now you're to an iPad world. kid. Absolutely. I think the first like YouTube video that I would, or like the types of YouTube videos that I would ever look up were like AMVs. I'd see like, yeah. I'd see like a Naruto Linkin Park music video and go crazy. How is it? How is a child? Are you like, yeah, I want to watch AMVs. Like how do, how do you like, no dude, I didn't even watch Naruto or any, like none of the like I animes that Naruto. were in the AMVs. I never watched them yet, but sure. like, I just, I don't know. I was great. watching I Naruto were and then, and then I saw like. Fucking uh, Power Man 5000 AMVs. That's fire. That so, dude. Like, it's the, the Zabuza fight. And I'm yeah. like, dude, this is so hard. What? So, like, for me, early YouTube was was AMVs. Shane uh, Dawson. I specifically. Fred. Oh. No. I, Fred. I hate Fred. No, Fred made uh, me mad when I was eight years old. No, for, for sure. me, it was uh those, the stick death videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's stick fair. Stickdeath.com, dude. I watched the shit out of some stick Anybody death. ever watched Make Me Bad 35? Yes. Yes. Dude. That was, yes. that was, that was the, the first, like, that was the first guy that I found that was like a content creator. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was cool. He, he had like a recommended, he made like a stupid fucking like YouTube song, like a YouTube rap. Yeah. And oh, it was no. featured on the homepage. And I was like, what is this? I'm like, oh, this is crazy. I'm eight years old. Speak- I'm like, and then there's the hamburger well thing where he's trading, he's buying hamburgers like they're drugs or something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah, of yeah. YouTube rap, the first, I think one of the first videos I remember being on YouTube was fucking, what, what are they called? It, YouTube rap battles or some oh, shit like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Where they have like Darth <laughs> Vader epic rap battles. Epic rap battles. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Dude, that was the worst era of YouTube, bar none. Yeah, yeah that's Ray fair. William Johnson. Oh my I'll, God. I'll friggin' die. Uh, I think Zach is a fan of him. The way he was talking about him yesterday, I'm like, you like Ray William Johnson, huh? I uh, specifically remember watching the Lemon Demon Ultimate Showdown music video at least uh, one the what? billion times. The what? Lemon Demon. They had a song called The Ultimate Showdown. Yeah. It had like Shaq and Batman. Did you, did you, did you, have you, have you, what is Lemon Demon? You know, you know what's awful? You gotta look him up. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen it if you were on the internet back then. Did you know that there's a parody of the parody song? It's called the ultimate orgy. 
It is oh, it. probably. It's yeah. exactly what you think it is. That's <laughs> groundbreaking. There, I've seen that. The, for the, sure. It's crazy. The original video has like this really elaborate video, like really well thought out, and someone was bored enough that they went and just remade the entire thing. But, but ever humping. But they're all having gay <laughs> yeah. sex. I'm yeah. like, you know, that's crazy. Go Good for off. you. YouTube something. Chuck man. Norris and Godzilla, or whatever, doing doing the dirty deed. Yeah, we love we love uh, <laughs> talking about nostalgic things in pop culture here at the Real Hoss Pop. Yeah, I'm a pod, I'm a pod, an enjoyer pod, of pop pod, pod, podcast pop culture. I'm an enjoyer of pop culture. Speaking of pop culture, uh, Squishables versus Squishmallows. Who you who you on? Uh, Squishables. Uh, Squishables for me. I don't know, man. I like pillows. Those are cool. Yeah, pillows. I'm not really a stuffed animal guy. Just start I selling pillows. Pillow. There's a squishmallow here and it made me think. I of think. It. I think once. I think I have a great business model for that for Kelly toy. Once they go out of business, is once this fad dies, okay. they just start making pillows. Yeah. Like not even like they're just not even this. It's just pillows like that you sleep on. Nothing yeah, they're special. Comfy. Not no design. No. Yeah, nothing. they just just, they, just a white pillow. They take this technology, the squishmallow technology, okay. and just make pillows. White people would buy those out so fast. <laughs> White people, people are reselling just regular pillows. G- Gabby got me a Squishmallow, and I use it as a pillow all the time. Yeah. It's like perfect. It's they like, don't even like brand it as a Squishmallow. <laughs> pe- it's just like a whole different company, but they're using the same technology, but everybody's going crazy it's, for them. It's about this big, and it's like the perfect neck pillow. I yeah. just wedge it in my neck yeah. when I don't want a full pillow. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I like the Squishables, how they got like the demonic guys, whereas I feel like the squishmallows are just like it's okay. It's a circle with a face. <laughs> squishmallows are better though. They got like they got Pokemon squishmallows. Okay, it's a bigger. Company. You could lay it to cuddle with this. Like what am I? Some of the squishmallows. That's a squishmallow. That's a squishmallow. I know, but I can't lay on this. Like yeah. it's just you just hold it. I want to be able to sleep with it, like on it. Not you get one of with really it. Big ones. Like hold up. You want to do what with that Wait, squishmallow? What? I don't think they make those yet. <laughs> One day. <laughs> Hopefully not. I hope not. A man yeah. can dream, Gandhi. <laughs> that's a Yeah, that's stop a, dreaming. That's a squish fella. I'm gonna crush that one right now. <laughs> that shit's shot down. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh squishables are cooler. They got like the demonic designs. They got like Baphomet. Demonic. They like, yeah. They've got demonic no, sick they have, crazy like, designs. They have, like, Satanic Krakens. squishables panic. They have like Krakens. They have like Cthulhu. They have fucking Hydras. Why are you obsessed it's with cool. that kind of thing, man? It's cool. Why are you? So- that's so evil. Of yeah. You. I'm so evil and sinister. Why can't you just get like a dark. squishable that's like a dandelion? They they do have squishables that are like food. A butterfly. And stuff. A nice big hamburger. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely make those for they, sure. Every time I've went to the Squishable store, the all the food item ones are on sale. Yeah, nobody so wants them. I don't them think shits. anyone yeah, wants those. Who the those. fuck would want that? Yeah. You don't just said, you. why don't you? Vin, you Vinny, you would cuddle with a hamburger, like just like a, a Five Guys burger. Yeah, you look like you cuddle <laughs> like with a hamburger. Like the greasiest <laughs> double cheeseburger. Yeah, I would. Especially if it was Five Guys. Yeah. I mean. What the hell? Pause. Uh, <laughs> we're, I'm, revoke, I'm revoking your air horn rights. So, hey, uh, new topic, guys. Transition. Uh, if you've noticed my shirt that I have on today, our good pals and Clara Noctis are putting I, out a music video I was today, leaving the, the house Wednesday. in the same shirt, and then Vinny said, you can't wear that. I didn't. You I didn't. Have. He noticed that I was wearing the shirt. He said, are you wearing the Clara Noctis shirt? Oh, I was going to wear that. I can't now. I said, yeah. You know, you have the, to, you, big lizard, you, have to uh, you have to embrace like uh, wearing the same shirt as your friends on accident. Oh, we're matching. He gets upset. I've done yeah. it before, and he's, I think he's it's, I think visibly it's funny. gotten mad. I think it's honestly funny, because then when people say, like, you guys, what are you guys like? Well, you guys, why are you guys mashing? It's kind you of you guys gay. Because we uh, fuck. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, we're fucking we're right boyfriends. now. What are you we talking about? Oh my god, we just left our home. No, actually, we have similar tastes and not that many t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> we have similar tastes. That's why we're friends. I actually, have a, this I is have a, a lot of t-shirts. Uh, sign I of think it. you guys can all agree that I just rotate between like my favorite ones. Well, you've probably wore this shirt about four different episodes. <laughs> it's a no. It's one episode. No, this is kidding. my first. <laughs> for, all, for, all our, second. for all our YouTube watchers, peep this is Vampirella shirt. I got this from an estate sale. You know what's crazy? For estate shame. estate sales. I don't know if you guys have ever been doing a state. So is it people really dying? One. Is it people dying and they're selling all their Usually. things? So I've really, so I've really broken it down to a science. You know, there's a lot of different types of estate sales. There is uh, dead person estate sales. Uh, there's we Fuck got yeah. we got too much shit and we're trying to move estate sales. We got London yeah. on the. 
And then there's people that are like, they're like, there are companies that will like stage an estate sale and it's just all the crap that they couldn't sell from the last uh, estate sale. Okay. Okay. There's one, uh, there's one like down the road from my house and they have a garage sale sign up every week and I've been fooled many a times. I'll drive down that road and pull up and be like, fuck, it's the same house from <laughs> eight weeks ago. <laughs> and it's just full of the same shit every fucking week. And what like, is it? Is it just bullshit? Just garbage. For that house specifically. They like, yeah. They like, no, they like empty out a, a house after they've done the estate sale and then just dump it all into that house and then try to sell it and they just keep adding shit to it and That's it's crazy. like yeah it's crazy they're gonna have to have an estate sale for the estate you, when they have too much shit is it like a like are you a part of like a a group on facebook no, like there, how do you there, keep up there's with an it? app for it really there's an there, app for estate there, sales there's an app for for buying dead people's belongings That's I, crazy. I, I, hey, I don't put too much sauce out of it <laughs> you know i uh I, I i i'm a firm believer that i definitely brought home some spirits with me from the i've i've been to quite a few estate sales man and I mean, I've got definitely got some haunted T-shirts and video Airlocks. games, and yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, you're wearing dead people's clothes. It's- I mean, I have a I have a friend who found a shirt one time that had a bullet entry and exit hole in the chest, like a very someone very dude someone, that goes it was, fucking. It was hard. it was a cure it was a cure shirt. You know, I would also shoot somebody in the stomach <laughs> if I saw them wearing a cure shirt. So you know, it makes he sense. Probably deserved it. <laughs> oh my kidding. god! Oh my god! Just kidding, random mistake. Oh, that's a good band, man. What the hell? The cure's kind of cool. They're pretty good. I also bought a I bought a Cure CD yesterday. There's there's a bunch of songs like literally. I was in the car with Gabby and like uh, the Cure came on. I was like, I had no idea this was a fucking the Cure song. Yeah. What's like the top Cure song? I have no idea. Like what's like the not like. Not like subjective. Like, what's objectively the most right, popular right. Cure song? While you're looking this up, I was gonna say I also bought I bought a CD from this estate sale yesterday. Mm-hmm. It's a, it, what is it? It's called Love Song. Love, love song. song. Our off camera correspondent Clem has <laughs> informed us that it is Love Song. Boys don't cry. There's a there's a, uh, there's a CD for uh, I found the Judge Dread <laughs> the Judge Dread soundtrack. The, the right, is yeah, it yeah. it's a late eighties movie, right, or something early nineties. It, it, the soundtrack fucking blew my mind. It had the Cure and <laughs> Cocktail Twins and like it had what all the fuck? it all had like this shoegaze and like 90s soundtracks went crazy. But I was like, wow, for Judge Dredd, <laughs> like that's insane. We oh. just watched, we just watched uh, Thirteen Ghosts, dude. That movie. Okay, that movie's that not... That movie's so goofy, but, like, it's the like, soundtrack kind of goes crazy a little bit. The movie's, bit. like, not super good, but, like, the de- like all the practical effects and stuff are really, really cool. Mm-hmm. And then who is it? Is it James Lillard? Is, James Lillard is in the movie? Is that his name? Am I dumb? Matthew James Lillard. Lillard. Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard. I'm so bad with names, dude. Oh, that's that's oh, just, Shaggy oh, from Scooby-Doo. Money? I did just make money. Oh, wow, money. live my, on Real yeah. Hoss. Yeah, my phone, money deposited my, my, phone, my phone makes money sounds when I make money. It's pretty cool. He makes money even when he's doing this. It's, yeah. it's easy. It I'm rich. What can I say? We're always making money doing this. We get 50,000 views on YouTube. Go to YouTube and follow us. Go to YouTube yeah. right now. If you look at the views, 50, it says 50,000. If it's anything less than that, your computer's probably just acting up. You got to update YouTube. But <laughs> You have to gone. delete all your cookies and reinstall your browser and stuff. Something. You actually have to delete your YouTube account. Yeah, and make yeah, it uh, You actually have to reformat your computer. Yeah. The whole hard drive, actually. The whole hard drive. You have to delete a... Uh, what is it? The... What, what's the system folder? 32 yeah system 32 <laughs> delete system 32 <laughs> just completely <laughs> fuck your whole computer up i wish i could delete my system 32 of my hard drive you want to kill yourself again oh. okay oh episode, my God. episode six thomas again says he wants to kill himself is on that, air the name of the episode <laughs> Tom- <laughs> thomas system. deletes <laughs> co- commit system 32 is the name of the episode oh wow that's crazy um Speaking of yeah, speaking of suicide. Man. Oh my god! <laughs> speaking of spooky things, that dead cat disappeared in my yard. Oh, bro! It dissipated oh. into the earth. <laughs> but hey, continue. You invited me over to he, dude. He invited me over to his house the other day, and this dead cat's <laughs> on his front lawn. He won't. He, he, he wouldn't just bury it. You need to bury it. It's gone now. I'm telling you, yeah, it's gone. It de- decomposed. Yeah, but it's, there it's was returned to the earth. There was a, a, a <laughs> Sent dead it back cat to God. corpse. It really bummed me out to see it for one. And then he's yeah, like, man, "Hey, do come over, man." <laughs> like I'm having, a, I'm having like a hard day mentally. And he's like, "Why don't you come over and hang out?" I like, no, 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 I no. Come over. Real fit. Fi- real no, fast. Hold on, hold on. You're I come over. Fucking I come over, and it smells like death and decay on the front lawn. And then. He has his window open on his front yard, and I'm like, how do you have your window open, dude? Your whole house smells like death. I only had it open for a minute, man. I was smoking a little marijuana. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa, Just a little bit. I'm calling the Now, let's preface what you just said. I invited you over for dinner because you were being an emo boy in your room by yourself, so my wonderful (laughs) girlfriend... 
Callie cooked you some hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> Hamburgers and hot dogs. For the emo and person. Dogs. And then we made the hamburger video. Everyone, and knows then, the, everyone knows that emo people don't eat hamburgers and hot dogs. What do they make? Imagine they a 2006 year old emo kid trying to eat. Just like really small bites. 2006 year old emo kid? That's a whole ass emo kid. The year of 2006. <laughs> eating a hamburger or a hot dog, I'm telling you right now, it wouldn't happen. Just like very small nuggets. bites. Yeah. Very like small you bites. Grilled you, cheese. you wouldn't catch like the 13 year old emo like at the like barbecue. You wouldn't catch. Like you wouldn't willingly catch, just enjoying a hot dog. No. You, you wouldn't catch Destry <laughs> eating a hot dog or a hamburger. What I hate that, that person. What was that fucking name? Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the em- the emo kid that that definitely was like grooming. Oh yeah, I mean who? Are, most of them were. Who was that one dude that got in trouble in Port Charlotte in the fucking uh, mall parking lot? I know exactly who you're talking about. I do not remember his name. Uh everybody talked about him for a while. I don't know, Misfit? man. No, not Misfit. Oh Misfit, my no. god. Rest in peace, Misfit. We miss Misfit. Whoa. Wait, did he? He passed away. No, no. Oh, <laughs> dude, chill. Don't say that. He ain't dead. <laughs> like, he, just, even... he ain't dead. He just went MIA. <laughs> no, no. But seriously, who is that? I, I, we don't got to spend much time on. I'm not trying to like just shit on this guy or anything either. But like, who is that fucking guy, man? Like he was. I know you're. T- I, I I know I have both no of you know who I'm yes, talking about. Yes, I can't yes. think of him. He works at Rainbow Market. Oh. Oh, you're talking about uh, Justin. Yes, yes. We're not gonna. We don't gotta gonna say the last name, but I do know last it. Name yes. out, but Justin, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't let's not give him any shout outs at I all. I don't know shout why even. Justin. I don't know. No. I don't even, redacted. Redact no, that. No, no shout out. I don't Justin. know what he's even made asshole. me bring him up. I can't remember where we were going with that, but he's a piece of shit. I guess. So. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh he God. went to jail for. We're not gonna get into it. Yeah, let's not. Let's. I've not. gone to jail. Me too. Actually, I've been to jail. Went to jail. I've been to jail. I haven't been to jail. Thomas, you got to join the club. You got to Time go for to you jail. to go to jail, pal. Take your pants off it, and walk through the office real quick. It's not that bad, I promise. I don't think I I think I just got escorted out. I don't think No, there is. Then your ass to jail. No, they'd let you do it. We own Maybe it. if I just like walked out and Yeah, honestly, shit we actually we pay the rent here. Yeah. Yeah. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Maybe like 1 100th if of If you it. if you work at Cohatch and you're listening says please let us come back. <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> they're they're not gonna. Stop. We need this. Yeah, we need it so bad. I mean, to be fair, so do they. So it's kind of their <laughs> whole. It's their whole business plan. Like that's what we're here for. Like we're helping them. They're helping us. We're having a nice little fucking friendship going on. Talking about dead cats and shitting ourselves yeah. and our super fancy podcast. This is fucked, man. So you guys got anything cool planned for Halloween? Uh, last Halloween I had sex in a minion's outfit. <sighs> Yeah. I think I'm gonna have I, I think <laughs> I think yeah. I'm gonna do something really scary on Halloween. I'm gonna have a panic attack. That's that's frightening. <laughs> I think on Halloween I'm gonna walk around with a gun and no one's gonna question me. <laughs> I mean it's Florida. It's, Halloween. it's Florida, you can. <laughs> yeah, you technically can, it's legal. I'm just walking in the streets with a gun. I'm not shooting or killing anyone. I'm yeah. just walking through the streets with a gun. With a loaded AR fifteen. What do you guys oh. wanna do for a Halloween episode here? Well, actually, Let's let's ask the our audience if you guys have any ideas. If you guys have made it episode. to minute twenty six or so in the episode, twenty two fifty six. Let us know. We're gonna decorate the the stewed. The stewed. The stewed. We're gonna decorate the stewed for Halloween. I really don't want you to we're say that dress again, up. please. Nah, we're gonna call it don't. the stewed. Uh, we're gonna call it the stew it. at least, it's not the stewed. Cool. I'm in the stew. We should ask. That's Cole better. Hatch. Not the we stewed. Ask Hatch if I I'm can a... plug a fucking fog machine in here. That'd be. I got the top off. I would love to. I'm dripping like hot sauce. Machine. But, yeah, if you guys have any ideas for Halloween. I got something that's clean, bro. Um, let us know. We're, we're, we're I'm, get, I'm we're thinking get, spooky stories. We're going to get lights. Yeah. Lights, yeah. Yeah, we're already no, talking we're about already getting, talking like, purple, it, yeah. orange light, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I'm dropping the top off. we have, like, a... I'm dripping like hot sauce. Oh, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure Shut it out. Up. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. You've never seen that video? I'm going to. Shut up. Um... We already talked about this. I don't need to talk about I don't want to talk about Gunner. It's just funny because I'm driven like hot sauce. I've been doing lots of Halloween things in preparation for the season, watching lots of horror movies. Yeah, I just yeah, watched yeah. Hellraiser for the first time, dude. That movie's crazy. Someone was just watching Skin of Rink. I just I saw just it. Watched really the Exor- I really got to get into it. I just it. watched The Exorcist for the first time a couple days ago. The Exorcist is so good. Whoa. I want to see that, that new one. You know, that new one's I had, crazy. I had, no, I had no idea, man. I, I really thought it was just like a really like... Your no, mother her, sucks cocks in hell. Like no, it's like a it's like a psychological like it's like I mean it is your mother a, sucks cocks yeah, in hell. <laughs> but it's like it's like a questioning of faith and like what it means to you know it's, it's pretty And then you get to see her fucking walk down the stairs on all fours with her head backwards that's, and then turns her head around and vomits. It's that's crazy. actually not in 
That's only in the director's cut. Did yeah. you know that? I, didn't see the director's cut. I did not I did not see that scene actually. It's uh, not in it's the hard. It's not I saw it back in the uh, day. It's I haven't not watched in the, the original that, one for a minute. Services. That That's brings weird. me back that to my topic that I was going to bring up about that. Practical effects fucking rock. Dude. Absolutely. Practical so, effects, CGI is cool, but practical effects, like especially when it comes to horror movies is the best. Well, yeah, because yeah. it's it's the most convincing looking thing. Well, I mean, not even that. It's just it has like a like a nostalgic feel and like it's just cool. I don't know. The amount of work uh, I appreciate it as like a filmmaker myself. Yeah. And this is just, just like the first example I could think of and I already know what's going to come from it when I say it, but Stranger Things. I haven't seen Stranger oh, Things. Oh, that's some strange things. I don't want to talk about Stranger Things, but the I can't even remember the name of the guy, but the villain in the new shit, Vector or Vector or some shit like that. Vecna. I, I saw like behind the scenes of that, how they get him ready with the... Uh, Practical effects. Practical effects and whatnot and shit. It takes literally like seven hours. Like so much work gets put into it. And it's like you really got to respect it when you see it on camera. It's, up. it's cool. Have you guys seen The Thing? The OG yeah, the yeah, yeah. movie. I don't know yeah. how I haven't seen like half these movies. You haven't seen The Thing? You haven't seen The Thing? You know, I, I have. I That's honestly surprising. Home, know, go home know, and watch The Thing. I grew up thinking that I didn't like horror movies. And then like. Oh, those are by my favorite. It just like it hit kid. me out of nowhere. I was like, I whoa. Love, I love this old is, horror I thought, movies. I think this might be my like, not my favorite genre, but it might be up there. because it's just, Horror movies are definitely my favorite I enjoy genre. like a good, I, I enjoy a good cerebral experience. Very psychological. Back to what I said before. I like slashers over horror in general. I'm not really big on slashers. I, I could slashers. get into it sometimes, but it, sometimes what's, it's a little too much. Just rewatch Army of Dark. I just, I just, well, not rewatch. I just watched Army of Darkness for the first yeah. time, dude. Uh, yeah. That's kind of like a slasher, but it's so corny. I love that. I bought, I bought a movie. Um, I was at the there's a punk rock flea market uh, yep. downtown, and I, I get to go to those. I purchased, a, I purchased a Blu-ray of a movie called what? What was it again? Splatter University. I haven't watched it yet, but it looks fucking awful. <laughs> it's like cool. it's like a bunch of college kids. It's like, it looks like a college splattered movie as in like project. blood. Like is yeah. it like a okay? Yeah. It's like a slasher. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I don't They're, fucking I, know. Dude. I watched, like, I'm just I watched, asking a question. I watched the trailer. I know. If, if I watched the trailer and it really blew my mind because like. They're trying really hard to like make it seem really mysterious, and they're like they're showing the guy that's like killing people in the school, and there's a scene where the guy pops out of a closet and just stabs the guy in the <laughs> dick, and it's the, cor- it's the it's the corniest shit I've ever seen. It's it that looks good. Hard. I'm excited to watch it. That makes it. me think about the the practical effects in Terrifier Two. Yeah, when he gets his dick stabbed. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. And then Terrifier Two. Yeah. yeah, you have it. You didn't. Okay, you need Damn. to see that. That's you don't like, care about it. No, no, that's no, that's just, a really good modern slasher. No, it's fucking like it's, yeah, a, really it's a lot of good fun. Modern slasher. Um, I I, I bring this up because of X was kind of a slasher. I don't know if Pearl is, but that's I the really want to go see Pearl. Yeah, I hate the movie X. I, but I want to. I I wasn't crazy about X, but I want to go see Pearl. Really, in my bad. opinion, I haven't seen it. I, looked, for, I, for one, am a hater of bad movies, as one should be. Okay. <laughs> I just, yeah, just bad I don't know, movies. A24 hits, and then sometimes A24 misses so bad. Oh, yeah. X I mean, was one of those movies that I was just like, wow, they, they, they do. I don't think it chances. was shit. Like, it wasn't I like, it was mid. I wouldn't watch it again. I didn't care for it, but like, I didn't one, think it like was They're like, they're making a porn or something, right? That's the one, X? Bro. Is that the one thing of? That they're making a porn? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, hey. I mean, the only good part. Kid Cudi. The only part that was good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Kid okay, Cudi okay, was okay. hanging massive dong. I thought that was hilarious. It's crazy to just like, see Kid Cudi go from hmm, and then he just has his cock out. That's wild. <laughs> I bet it wasn't his cock. That Whoa. was prosthetic. That thing was like two feet long. Dude, what? <laughs> it was haunting. What? I watched it in theaters with Zach and Sam, and we. I don't. I, I was there too, man. Thanks, there. appreciate I that. I don't think You're Kid Cudi. So I don't think Kid Cudi would be so depressed like he always is if he was slaying in that. Much if he was weed. just slinging some. Is he wiener. depressed or is he just writing songs about smoking weed? No, no, no he that, says he's depressed. No, that dude. That dude. I don't even understand why he still makes music, man. Me either. He. It. It, it was. He is. He, he. truly raps. He truly raps like an old man, like trying to be cool. It's hey. Uh huh. I remember back in like 2010, I liked him alive. Hey, oh, back I up remember. in the mix. Aloha. I'd be at your house, we'd be playing skate, just. Mm, yeah, he won. That shit sucks. Mm, Oh, no, I didn't care about that song that much. It'd be like, <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be like hey, Mr. Rager. Da, 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 da. 
you can't sing more than a certain amount yeah. of time where we get copyright. Kid Cudi's going to copyright me for singing yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 if he copyright strikes us, I'll literally beat him up. I'll go to his house. You could not up. beat Kid Cudi. Absolutely. I certainly no. could. No. I would place money that Kid Cudi, Xavier come on the podcast. You, he would let you podcast. beat him up. Come on the podcast, and it's going to be me and you versus Xavier and Vinny. I'm not going to lie. Kid Cudi's pretty tall. He'd probably beat the shit out of me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, dude, he's rich. He's probably got, like, bodyguards <laughs> and guns. Okay, why he, what? Why is he what? bringing any of that to a fight? Because he's rich. Me too. You think Jeff Bezos can't get down and scrap with the little no! man? No! I do. You, wait, you didn't I, haven't even, I forgot Jeff Bezos You existed. haven't seen him? You haven't remember when they were gonna, he was going to fight Elon Musk? He was fucking jacked, Dude, bro. I was about Are to fight. Bezos? No, no, that Mark was Zucky. fucking... No, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg why, doesn't, why doesn't Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg fight? That they should just fuse. They're like the same person. <laughs> they should <laughs> just reptilians. Oh, for sure. Either one of like them the is a real human. Moves. No, definitely not. They got what's that dance from Dragon Ball Z? Fusion Ha? That's not what it's called. The Fusion There's more. It's called the Fusion Dance. Okay. Oh, I'm thinking uh, Patera, Patera Fusion. That's what the ear is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go fuck myself, guys. Wow. Sorry, I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z oh, on the podcast. Wow. We were talking about wow, Squishmallows earlier. Love Dragon Ball Z. That's crazy. Do you like Dragon Ball Z, actually? Yeah, I don't like Super, though. It's cringe. It is. That's fair. I mean, it's, I, it's, it's just, I mean, it's like a, it's like, Toriyama doesn't fucking care anymore. No, of course not. Why would he? Why? Yeah, who cares? I mean, now it's just fan service. Yeah, yeah. I watch. I watch it to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I, 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 enjoy dis, I dislike it as much. fan service. A fair deal. I like fan service. I dislike it quite a I'm bit. Corny. I mean, I watch it. I definitely like Dragon Ball Z over Dragon Ball Super. That's why but. I liked. That's why I like my favorite a Godzilla movie out of the MonsterVerse ones is, is King of the Monsters. There's so much like, oh, they got all the monsters. Oh, they got the good soundtracks, but then like the plot is terrible. But but when <laughs> you see sucks. when you see King Ghidorah frozen to be fair Godzilla movies the plot always sucks oh, King yeah. Ghidorah except for Shin Godzilla King Ghidorah frozen in the ice and then Godzilla like King Ghidorah is just opening his eyes and Godzilla is on site ready to run the fade you really put that shirt on and can't help yourself but talk about Godzilla I can't help myself but talk about Godzilla anyways that's fair come on it's one of my three personalities I got vampires I'm on my sad. shirt let's talk about vampires I'm sad I like Godzilla that vampire got big boobs hey and I like uh, anime yeah I don't know those are my three personality traits yeah. something okay. like that that's fair I like mine I is a couple. get money um, <laughs> mine is you have no personality mine is get money <laughs> second is acquire checks third you don't you do not your, get checks your, your, I don't get it I, I don't remember the last your, time I've gotten a check your personality traits are Misplaced arrogance, Whoa. while also being <laughs> extremely insecure. Vinny, oh my god! <laughs> okay, Thomas, let's get to it. Being oh, a great no. friend. Do you want me to? Do you want me to dig into you? <laughs> oh yeah. no! Let's dig into no. you for I'm a minute. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, I'm silencing myself. I'm. This guy's been holed up what? in his room. I'm annoying. I'm this guy's sad. been holed up in his room crying because he's not doing well. <laughs> I'm doing well. No, see that shut him up real quick. I'm, uh, huh? I'm going to Colorado next week. What are you doing next week? Yeah, you're going there broke. <laughs> oh my uh, god! Anyway, what guys, happening? what is happening? Oh. Uh, so you guys want to talk about Squishmallows again? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting emotional on the podcast. I'm We're, good. Uh, I'm good. We're digging deep. I'm not. <laughs> He said, I'm not. <laughs> I don't like digging. We're unraveling each other. I don't like digging. I'm good. We're unraveling each other in like a cute way. Yeah. <laughs> like a bath towel. Like you just got out of the shower. <laughs> Let's ew. Tee-hee. I don't like that. Uh yeah. October's gonna be a cool month. I'm going to Colorado next week. Gonna be hiking my ass off. I'm gonna come back and you guys are gonna be like, who is that guy? He's gonna have increased lung capacity like we've never seen. I'm gonna be breathing like. <sighs> I don't think that's how. And it works. then and then like my calves are gonna be like boulders for the next four months. He's gonna be like, man, this air sucks. <laughs> well, I already think that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it Florida, is Florida air is fucking terrible. It is it's too humid. I'm gonna be like, oh man, I hate I hate living down here. Every five minutes after yeah, going I mean, up north for for a moment. Classic. Does it, they got fall colors there right now. I've, uh, I've been seeing like pictures of what it looks like in Colorado. I'm like, oh, that's like, that's like, I feel I'm like, so I feel like looking at like the weather and like, like what's going on in a state before you go there is kind of like spoilers before you watch a movie. Well, we're planning on <laughs> hiking. We're going to be outside the whole time. We have to look at the weather. No, it needs to be a surprise, man. 
You gotta be, you gotta be completely. Okay, gotta be I gotta go there in shorts. You gotta be, yeah, gotta be thirty yes, degrees you have to when be I get completely there. Completely and utterly blindsided by the <laughs> by Mother Nature. She has to completely ruin your vacation. For it, it builds. Character. I'm already doing that living in Florida. That's fair. <laughs> with the risk of a hurricane just decimating my entire existence hurricanes, at any moment. Dude, I love hurricanes. Shout out hurricanes. Hurricane Adalia came for us. Couldn't touch us. No. She didn't want smoke. Hurricane Charlie tried to kill me. Couldn't kill me. I'm sorry. Is something important right now? Yeah. <laughs> your mom just sent me your big fat titties. Hey, mom, if you're watching the podcast, is that true? <laughs> Did you really? I would appreciate it if you didn't send my friend Vincent. Capone. It was unprovoked. I didn't even <laughs> ask for him. She just sent. Hey, that's good for her. If she wants to send you knockers picks, go crazy, mom. Do your thing. <laughs> Go crazy, mom. <laughs> Any of my friends want to want to beef my mom? What? Dude, what the fuck is going on? Yo, you, you pimping your mom right now on the podcast? That's <laughs> fucking shit, crazy. Man. Pimping my mom on the Real Haas podcast. I'm kidding. Don't. Please don't. Please do not ever approach my mom. No one would approach my mom. She walks with a cane. Oh my god, dude. She's a nice lady. Love my mom. She's cool. Me too. I love, also love my mother. She's all right. Yeah, <laughs> he said he, she's I. She I. Yeah, I bet you love. Your yeah, mother. your mom's I. I also love your don't, mother. Don't talk about my mother like that. I love that. both your mothers at the same time in my bed every night. I don't think you have the stamina for that. <laughs> Are you claiming your mom fucks? I'm claiming you don't fuck. <gasps> you want to find out? Are you guys gonna fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the applause button. Just a random one. Could cut the tension with a knife. Yeah. So with the. What the fuck is that? It? Are you out of topics? Oh God. I'm out of topics. I'm the topic guy. Okay. You said you had a bunch of. I'm things. a hot. All topic. right, cool. Here we go. I'm a hot topic. Here's my topic for today. Uh, do you, uh no, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse Nailed me. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey. Damn son. Clarinoctus, hooch and hive Sunday. I'm not in the band. They're just my friends, and that's all I got to say right now. So, uh, A lot of bands putting out cool stuff. Uh, support your local scene. Go out to shows. It is what it is. We're not like a band podcast, but we're definitely like dudes that go to shows and are affiliated with a lot of bands. Uh, Xavier writes yeah, I'm affili- music. Yeah, I'm affiliated with these bands. Xavier... Shut the fuck up. Xavier writes uh, <laughs> Xavier writes music under the name Painworks. No, I do. That's not my name. I'll His, kill your you. Your YouTube name is Painworks. He writes music under the name they Pain. They don't get it. They don't I've get it. I shot him a, a couple music videos. Um, but support support your local scene. Go to these shows. Uh, lots of bands are killing it right now. Uh, we just had Gas FL on the podcast. I think they're not Gas FL. They're just Gas. The name of the band is Gas. They used to have Gas FL because there's a lot of bands named Gas, I think. Um, good dudes. Love Mark. Love Spencer. No, it's just because there's like people like selling I'm gas. Pretty, I feel like their name is Gas FL. Their logo says Gas FL. It it's not. It's not just their like Instagram does it say handle. Well, imagine, Gaff FL. Well, FL. Well, Gaff FL. Well, yeah. Ima- <laughs> imagine googling Gas. Just like oh, yeah. I want to listen be, to Gas. Yeah, no, it has to say. That's that. not gonna Yo, work. I listen to Gas every day. What? <laughs> My music taste is Gas. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's not. I was listening to Linkin Park on the way here. Still. Yep, episode six. That's still the band that he's talking about, guys. Not just that. I was listening to that new Acacia Strain record. I didn't even know that. We were at the gym. Did that even happen? No, it's the Failure Will Follow. Oh. Those that, records. That shit old. Yeah. That shit I guess new. at this point they are. That shit ain't new. I'm listening to that. Uh, Flesh God Apocalypse Rocks. Listen to that album King a lot. What about you? Uh, well, you actually get. I do have some new music that just wow. came out. Uh, I know, right? I you listen to music. I can't believe question. it. Right? Uh, there's an artist <laughs> named Underscores. Uh, she's a, makes. I don't even know how to explain the music. It's very odd. Um, is she, it beat poopy? Like a lot of the music. No, to is there, no. There's a lot of. There's like. There's like a punk song on the album. There's like little, like like it's it's, it's like cartoonish almost kind of sounding, but it's like a. It's called Wall Socket, and it's like this crazy little. It's like a conceptual album about a town called I love Wall, conceptual called albums. Wall Socket in Michigan, and they made like fake websites for the town of Wall Socket with like 
like you learn the story of the album by going on these like there's like a moms of wall socket website that's cool yeah it's crazy i was like going on i was scrolling through like genius like reading the lyrics and there's like all these links to websites and i'm like whoa this is like i thought this was just like a goofy little album about goofy stuff about being sad it's a conceptual album Who got thought? a little too much spit in your mouth there huh whoa it's all that you went in the, in the being sad a little too much spit. Salivating. <laughs> Got me excited. Salivating. Yeah, when Xavier gets too excited, he kind of tends to salivate. Mm-hmm. Or reach for his inhaler immediately. <laughs> um, yeah, my lungs are crippled. What about it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> fucking with the audio levels? Yeah, I was feeling um, crazy. Scro just put out a new record recently. I'm Scro. The uh, fuck is Scro? We talked about him before on the podcast. He's a, He was in that band Thug. Back in the day. All right, cool. Back in the day. Uh, you saw them live at Pain Skate Park. No, I didn't. I've I'm never sure you seen did. Sh- I've never seen a show at Pain Skate Park. You never went to one of the Pain's? That's no. how I know you're an op. An op? Yeah. Fake ass dude if you didn't go to the Pain Skate Park shows. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Some what ominous that. noises yeah, outside. Weird. Shout out all my dudes it's who went bomb. to the Pain Skate Park shows. My, yeah, my skate park. <laughs> <laughs> fuck up. Yeah. I own that place. Uh, remember, I remember a lot of cool shows happening there. I don't know why a lot of cool shows happen there. It's honestly pretty shit to play there. Uh, dude, I, uh, Outside venues suck. I played a show at Payne Skate Park in like January. And was my that f- with Downturn? Uh, no, no. It was We've Been Compromised. Hmm. Um, I, my fingers stopped working when we started playing the set because it was so What do you co- mean? It was cold outside. Uh, like It was like legit. I was like, dude, how the fuck? You got frostbite on your finger. No, legit. I couldn't like even play. The I couldn't play bass at all. Rip. Fucking stupid. Outdoor venues suck. Yeah, I can't play bass at all either. <laughs> but but a lot of good memories at Paint Skate Park regardless. Yeah. Uh, a lot of cool bands that aren't around anymore. Uh, I remember seeing Blunt Trauma there. Like Man. three fights broke yeah, out. Kicks out. Uh, Dark Sermon used to play there. Used to be in reference to Sinking Ship. Saw Adalia there a few times. I think I played with Adalia there yeah, when I was in cool. People in the Sea. People in the Sea was playing with way too many cool bands for what we were writing. Goofy ad, literally ripping off issues, ass music. Were you? Yeah. That song, Mother Mother, is literally Princeton Avenue. It's the same riff. Todd can confirm. He wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, take a long sip. A big ass sip. Big ass sip. <laughs> of my mother effing brew. Uh, the Keel Farms. Our Gary and Cider, once again, should go crazy. I'm not going to do it. No. They don't deserve it. We haven't been paid yet. <laughs> they don't deserve a, an air horn. Once yeah. they give us some money, they can get a sound effect. Until then, it's fucking nothing. Nada. Facts. All right. Well, we're about at 42 minutes. I think we're done here. All right. That was Real Hoss Podcast Episode 6. Thanks for tuning in. Good night. Good night. Pig noises. Uh, I ain't pig making, noises. No, I ain't making no pig noises. Bro.